guys. My name's Laura and welcome to Chili's. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Hi guys. Hi guys. My name's Laura, and remember to check your bananas for brown spots. Hi guys. My name's Laura, and no means no. No, for real this time. My name's Laura, and this is the story of my first trucking fail. Red monkey trucking. So, uh, as I said, this is my first trucking fail. Uh, we were in Kansas City at the Kellogg's there, and we were doing a drop and hook, and it was one of the first times I was driving and doing this kind of thing, switching out trailers. So I dropped the empty trailer, hooked up to the loaded trailer, and was going around hooking up the electric, the airlines, um, checking that the lights worked and everything. And uh, I got in the truck and started it up. And to my surprise, there was a massive air leak between the tandems. There's a little valve or something that's back here. Like right in the middle of the tandems. It, it, there was a massive, massive air leak. So, like, oh no, there's something wrong with the trailer. So I called Eric and he came and helped me uh, check around the trailer, trying to figure out what was wrong. And um, mind you, it was dark. It was dark, yes. So we sent pictures to our maintenance department of what was going on. They couldn't figure it out. Um, they ended up calling a road squad guy from TA to come out, and a few hours later he showed up. He checked all around the trailer and the truck, couldn't find anything that would be causing this. So, uh, sit there and wait. He goes back to the shop to get a part or something, and uh, he never comes back. But the next morning, I think an actual mechanic from TA came out around the trailer for like a minute at most and he pulled Eric aside and uh, told him something that I couldn't hear so I just hear Eric burst out laughing and uh, I asked him what was going on and he was like guess what <laughs> I had switched the airlines up red on blue blue on red and uh, the air leak was just like a dump valve that is supposed to leak massively when you hook the airlines up wrong. So I didn't know this, but there's supposed to be a part that um, prevents you from hooking them up backwards. But that must have been broken on this particular yeah, it trailer. Was the metal plate that's on the red, it's shaped to take only the red, but apparently it was bent out. So it was easy to put the, red, the blue on, on them backwards. And funny thing I can add to this story is that uh, I uh, was training her, <laughs> so, so I, it never happened to me. I never hooked them up backwards, so I didn't actually know that that was what happens if there was a dump valve. I just, you know, so that was her first experience. With that. It was it was my dumbass who originally hooked them up wrong. It was dark but I really should have like gotten a flashlight or turned on the utility light or something, but I didn't. And so I wasted about 14 hours of time that we could have been driving this load to the other Kellogg's where we were going. So, uh, yeah, I felt so stupid. They but, brought us um, Snickers. Huh? They brought us Snickers. Oh yeah, <laughs> the TA shop will bring you stuff if you call their road squad there. <laughs> I don't, I think that they didn't charge it to us. No, they asked us if we wanted anything. They, they brought us Snickers out. Yeah, Snickers that was really nice. They were really cool. Um, and the guy who checked it out and told Eric was just like really nice. He didn't want to embarrass me. <laughs> yeah, he actually went as far as, he actually went as far as being like, oh, I don't know why your company has these swapped out backwards and everything. And I'm like, <laughs> Come on, man. 
I realized what happened, and he was just, he was just trying to be super cool. That was, that's one of our good experiences with TA. Uh, I can't say we've had some bad experiences with TA. Uh, most of the time, the road squad has been like excellent, other than them taking some time to get there. But. So, just goes to show, everybody makes mistakes, especially if you're a new driver. The important thing is learning from those mistakes and passing on your knowledge to other new drivers like we do with this channel. What we really want to do is we don't know everything. We don't know nearly everything, but we just want to share our experiences with other drivers who may be new and uh, help them know that information is free and it's all around you. So. Yeah, that was my story. <laughs> Everybody, have a wonderful week ahead of you. And guess what? Happy trails to you.